Hi there. I've previously written a couple of blog posts and made a few short videos about how we can use Unicode characters to write scientific content on iPhones and iPads very easily. Um, so, and, and also these, because we're using Unicode, this text can go pretty much anywhere that you can put text. So you can put it into Twitter, you can put it onto other social media and things like that. So it's very useful, very versatile. Um, what I'm going to show you is a shortcut that I've designed, which I'll make available uh, as a way to do um, combinations of Unicode characters for scientific content or other content as well, where that might be the case, you, that you need a few characters all together, very easily insert them. So if you're repetitive, repetitively uh, typing out the same groups of characters, such as um, in scientific constants, which is what I'll show here, then this can help you speed up your workflow quite significantly. So uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the shortcut in action. I'm going to put the speed of light here with its correct unit, nicely scientifically formatted into this note very quickly. Okay, so I'm going to use the shortcut from the share menu. So I'm going to type C and then within notes, I can bring up the share menu here like this, tap on share. And then I'm going to run my shortcut. This is down in the share sheet over here. And then I am running this one here. It's called Scientific Constants. Okay. Now, because it's received some text input, it's actually going to prompt me first. Do I want to use the text that I input to look up the name of the constant or the symbol? Yes, I do. So I've in my table I've put C as the speed of light, and that's quite common. And I'm going to choose text as the output for the number that I'm getting. Okay, and it, then it prompts me to say the, this text here has been copied to the clipboard 3.00 times 78 meters per second. Okay, great. So now what I need to do is paste it. And there we go. So this multiplication symbol, Unicode, this 8, this power of minus 1. So if I was putting that in a lot, and I do use that number a lot, that's uh, a bit quicker. I mean, writing it in Unicode doesn't take too long, but this is a little bit faster. Uh, you can also, I could just type anything here, okay, it's utter gibberish, and I can still run the shortcut, okay, so I'm gonna run it now, uh, down here again. This time it's not gonna find that gibberish that I highlighted. Uh, it doesn't have to be gibberish, by the way. You could have put the in, and it won't find that as a constant. So now what it's going to do is it's going to prompt me which of these constants that are available in my database, which I'll show you how to easily manage in a moment. Uh, but yeah, which of these do you want to use? So I want to use C, thank you very much. Let's try that again. Uh, I'll choose text, and once again, I get the same output there. And then... So you might want to just quickly type something that you then input, but if you use the symbol, then you get to where you want to go much faster. Uh, you can, of course, let's say I was using C. Oops, not select all, my apologies. Select and go to share menu. I, I do have the option of saying, no, don't use it as input, and then I get the menu in case I mistyped, for example. So yes, I can then say I want something different, for example, or what Planck's constant instead, and I'll get that as text. Okay, so that's copied to the clipboard this time, and I'll paste that over here. Okay, um, you can get the output also as a number, so you could use this in a calculator if you wanted as well. So uh, let's, Avogadro's number I've got in as MA. So I'm going to go to the share option again and run this. Yes, use that as input. I'm going to select number this time. So you can see it's given me the number 6.02 times 10 to the 23 here. And so I can paste that in. There we go. And so that 
all of these exist as a text option which comes with scientific notation and a unit and they come with the numerical value so this number is a genuine number that can go into um, calculators and spreadsheets uh, let's do one more um, this way this time what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the widget or you can use the app it's open on here on the left so I've got split screen here I'm going to use this it also runs from the widget just the same uh, so let's get the permittivity of free space here and I'll get this one as a number and it's got a very small number there for me to paste 8.85 times 10 to minus 12 so yeah it's very easy to use very easy to get text in or numbers in if you want to how do I manage the the, the database where is the database so I go over here and in this note it's simply a note and you can see very straightforward formatting it's a table within the note it's actually using that to generate my database of constants and it's so it's totally customizable and I'll show you how easy it is to customize it but yeah you've got all the symbols down here that you use for your constants these are the text versions, so you type them once and then you can use them again and again very quickly. And the numerical value, and you can see it's understanding scientific notation. So Planck's constant 6.63 times 10 to the power of minus 34, it understands that, converts it to a number. So even writing the numerical values in doesn't have to be a case of making sure you've got all the zeros in. You can use scientific notation, really great. So let me show you adding a new constant to my table. Here we go, this is one I want to put in. This is the constant from Bean's Law. So I'm going to select all of this. So this is, this bit here is the text with scientific, nota um, scientific notation and the unit, and this is the numerical value. I'm just going to copy that and put it into my table. So let, oh, sorry, wrong note. Let's put this uh, just above permittivity of free space here. Okay, so I'm going to put that in here, add row, or just under in fact. Okay, so this is B for Bean's constant. And I'm going to paste, and then I'm going to cut this numerical bit. Oops, let me put into the unit by accident. Okay, so I've just inputted this row here, so we should see Bean's constant now appear between permittivity free space and Avogadro's number. So I'll go in here and Bean. So now let's, uh, I'm, just, I'm gonna try, type the gibberish so you see the menu. So I'm gonna select that, run the share menu again and run my shortcut. It's not gonna find that gibberish anywhere. So let's have a look down here, and there is my beans constant. So let's select that one. We'll get that as text. And you can see exactly what I just input into the table is now available to me very easily. So it's a great and easy to use system. So yeah, the kind of context you could use this that I can think of, you could probably think of others also. So scientific constants, I use those all the time. So that's very useful. Engineering, often have tables of standard data that it's important to refer to and um, make sure. That if, and if you're writing about it, then you may need to use those quite often. You could even have full chemical equations in there, like um, respiration, uh, things like photosynthesis, those kind of things. You could put those in there, other um, standard data for the chemists use. So the lots, there are lots of potential scenarios for usage where if you're often typing the same thing and it's got scientific notation, this could be really useful. And so, yeah, in order to, you just need to make sure you've got this note, which is also gonna be available with a shortcut, and then you can put what you like and you can delete all this out and put your own stuff in there once it's in your own notes folder.